Harris, Rock Stronghold, A1 CrossFit, West Bend, Scots, Deadlifting on this day, Highlight, Affiliate, Standout Apparel, Lover. Go check their gear out. This is a highly shirt I got on today, but stand down. I'm sure you've seen me wearing their shirt before. Tag them in their things. They got some pretty badass stuff. It's my boy Kevin Meyer. He uh, started it out of the back of his car, delivering uh, t-shirts out of the back of his car, working hard just to get them to the people who want them. So go check him out. He's Army, I'm Army, we love each other. He shoots big guns. I shoot different big guns. It's pretty fun. But anyways, on this deadlift day, warmed up with a hundred walking lunges and a uh, hundred of those kettlebell deadlifts and 10, 40 of those butterfly pull-ups. Went up to, started with 10s all the way up to 365. Then at 365, I did eight, 405, I did three, and then went to 445. And on this day, Supposed to do sets of four, could only do one set of four, a set of two, and two sets of one because I realized throughout this day that my hip hurts because I'm dropping my damn hips too low in the start. I need to have my hips a little bit higher so I can pull the slack out of the bar and get my back tight and actually use my hamstrings instead of just putting it on the hip hinge. I'm trying to set up more to like uh, clean the weight and when you have heavy ass fucking weight on the bar, it doesn't work that well. It tucks my hips underneath, it rounds out my lower back, and then I can't use my posterior chain. So even taking my shoes off here didn't fucking work. And I was getting super frustrated. And by the last set of uh, 445 that I did here, I said, fuck it. I'm going to go to the axle, and I'm going to go to a deficit. I tried moving all around the gym. And with the axle and the deficit, I'm just going to pull whatever I can pull for the day. And do some reps, whatever, I don't know. But while I was setting up the axle, it dawned on me after watching one of my older videos that I used to deadlift with a higher hip position and I never had this problem. It wasn't until I got to Guantanamo Bay when I decided to start using my legs a little bit more that I had a fucking issue. So you can see here, my hips are a little bit higher. I'm really like facing the ground. My upper body is probably parallel to the marching surface. I'm not showing my chest off at all, but no hip pain whatsoever. You can see I'm not trying to shove my knees forward as hard, just enough uh, of a leverage to get a push off the floor, and then I just pull it into my lap the rest of the way. So super pissed about myself, super pissed at myself that I fucking didn't remember this. Um, but you know, I'm frustrated, and uh, I'm glad I fucking figured it out finally. Maybe I can stop making progress in the deadlift again. After three years of not making progress and then for a short period pulling that 525 and 405 for reps or whatever else, super excited to finally just get on the, the axle train. I'm going to start using the axle more often anyway because it gets me uh, tighter from the bottom. Pretty much puts you through the whole range of motion with stress. Man, fuck man, maybe I can finally pull like 550 or 560. Who the fuck That'd be cool. It'd be cool if I could actually pull as much as I look like I can pull. Instead of just working with three or four hundred pounds. So then I just did some more volume afterwards. Quite a bit of it with the axle. Uh, this is 250, give or take. I did three more sets of 10 with that deficit. Here, it looks like my back is rounded, but it's fucking locked in. It's solid. Like, zero hip pain here. So I know it looks like, it looks like shit, but it's not. And I promise you that. I put my shoes back on just to test it. And I was fucking golden. Golden like a shower. Super frustrating. But, you know, hopefully it wasn't just a one day thing. And I'll actually be able to deadlift. The next day, because this took about the, those deadlifts took about three hours. The next day, I came in and I just I did my uh, supplemental work. Started with these sled pulls. Uh, I did about ten minutes of work here. I think I got about 140 pounds on the sled. 
trying to get in some conditioning and some upper weight or upper body uh, pulling type stuff too, using the hips to throw my hip to throw forward. Kind of like a deadlift, but pulling backwards. So it actually teaches you how to sit back in the deadlift and pull through that range of motion, which works. And it gives you traps, a good pump. Gets your heart rate up because you're moving in a, in a dynamic fashion. Even gets your quads burning, obviously, because you got that good knee extension right there. So it teaches you how to use your legs off the floor. Hit up these farmers. 10 minute EMOM, every minute on the minute. So the weight stayed light. Just working the grip and working the traps, working the speed of the hips. Down and back every minute. It took about 20 seconds to go down and back. It wasn't too terrible. I was out of breath by the end of it though. And there I am. Coming on back. Then I went and did these uh, bent over rows. I use a little body English in them because I'm, I'm basically working my acceleration off the floor, keeping my back tight and keeping my lats tight. So I'm not too concerned about how high I'm standing up, but you can see it's mostly the knee drive. My hips are staying pretty much in the same spot or same angle. My back is staying, just opening up a little bit. Did these GHDs with them, man, and for 10 reps, I had the GHD like foot pad. It was up really high, so I got a really high knee crease, and my fucking hamstrings were on fire. Like every set at rep six, I felt like I was gonna just be done. Like I could do it, my hamstrings were all cramped up. But you know, that's what it takes sometimes with these little movements. You gotta just burn them out, burn those hammies out. Hit up some more of these rows. I did five sets of five with 225 on them. Wanted to go a little bit heavier on the row stuff. You can see my grip was actually kind of hurting me from those farmer carries. My calluses were hurt. So I had a hard time hanging onto the bar. Probably should have just gone a little bit lighter, but whatever. With these power shrugs. I had my lifters on, I had a wide grip, 225, working on hip, knee, and ankle extension with the power shrug, so getting that beginning part of the snatch, and kind of, still kind of working that snatch, I want to get it, I just want to get, you know, 155, it's not the astronomical, but I think 155 would be a solid snatch, I don't really give a shit, it all, just gotta keep working. And it's good for my fucking shoulders. Open oh, up a little bit. Open my chest up. These power shrugs are just a part of it. I want to do some shrugs. And I said, fuck it. I might as well do something a little more, a little more beneficial. So I did 10 minutes, every minute on the minute, with 225 for 10 reps. Then uh, just some core work, anti extension, no rotation stuff. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for max effort, overhead press. Peace. I love you all. Enjoy your life. Go out and do something better than you did last week.